Since 2001, LaGrange College has been the only college in Georgia to offer a Jan term. Four weeks worth of classes designed to encourage students to explore course content outside of their majors. Jan term 2018 added a new wrinkle to that concept by teaming a group of business majors with a group of music majors for a travel trip to Central Europe. Prague, Vienna, Venice, and Milan, birthplace of some of the world's greatest music and home to some of the world's most unusual economic contrasts. My name is Sarah Bearden. I'm a marketing and entrepreneurship major. And my name is Jason Hernandez. My major is composition and music technology. We left Atlanta. So that was a seven hour flight to London. And then we arrived in Prague. No single word describes the economy of Prague. As our group noted during its initial three hour walking tour, most every building dates back to the 19th century, but Prague's three subway systems are some of the most modern in the world. The European automobile industry is a major employer in the Czech Republic, but money for the upkeep of Prague's many, many fairy tale buildings and cathedrals comes almost exclusively from tourism. All the buildings there are just amazing. They're just gorgeous, and we just aren't used to that living in the United States. Our buildings are kind of bland, and so... We were able to see the, the main center uh, cathedral. It was so cool because they had a really, like a, like a golden clock on the side of it that um, had these mechanics that every hour would do this like little show. And of course the currencies were different everywhere and so that was something that we really had to stay on top of. Before leaving the States, our LaGrange College travelers were well coached on how to exchange their U.S. dollars into Czech crowns and how to pay for dinner in Euros. That night, they also took us to see an opera. Opera, as our group learned, is all about the music, because it's never been about the money. Few opera companies function as for-profit businesses. Most rely on government grants and corporate donations, not ticket sales, to keep the doors open. They took us to see Carmen. Which, not being a music student, I didn't really think that would interest me, but I actually enjoyed it a lot. In order to attract regular audiences, most of the larger opera companies stick to a schedule of classic favorites, shows that have remained popular for hundreds of years. And then we went from Prague to, we drove, took a bus to Vienna. And the first thing that we did when we got to Vienna was um, we went to the Vienna City Cemetery. So you can like walk to Beethoven's grave and then go see Strauss's grave. And, walk a couple steps further and you can see Mozart. I thought that was cool, it gave me chills. It gave me chills. And then we flew from Vienna to Venice. We had the chance to go on a gondola. Of course we had our music students along and so we had a couple girls, Deandra and Anna Courtney are beautiful singers and so they sang for us while we were floating down the river and on a gondola and that was a really cool experience. And we were able to see St. Mark's Basilica and that one was really cool because the who's who of, of uh, sacred music worked at St. Mark's. Um, and then we went from Venice to Milan. We had a very short time in Milan and then we really, I think, went because we wanted to see the Last Supper painting. So we saw that real quick the next morning and then went straight to the airport and came home. As part of their Jan term experience, every student on this trip was required to keep a journal. They were also assigned to write a reflective essay as part of their final grade. If I had the opportunity to go again, I would definitely go in a heartbeat. I would have never been able to do this unless the college was able to step in and help. Um, so yeah, this whole trip was, was absolutely rewarding. Other 2018 classes went to Thailand, the Philippines, Costa Rica, France, and Spain. For more information, visit lagrange.edu slash janterm.